Just first to 10, two people rush to the hospital after their small plane crashes into a backyard in Brandon. It happened along Parsons Avenue and Empire Drive. Take a look at the viewer video that we have. It actually shows the moment that the plane was going down with its parachute out. Something that could have saved the pilot and passengers' lives. Fox 13's Genevieve Curtis is live in the neighborhood for us tonight. And Genevieve, you actually spoke to the person who got them out of the plane. That must have been a wild experience. Yeah, it is pretty wild tonight, Allie, and pretty miraculous when you take a look at this plane behind me that two people were able to walk away from this plane crash with just minor injuries and that thankfully it didn't hit any other homes or businesses. This plane here, you can see upside down, the parachute tangled in the trees. This is all of outside of an abandoned home here in Brandon, but we are learning tonight. Neighbors said the first thing they heard was a huge boom. A different bang that I'm used to. A bang shook and startled Brandon neighbors like Henry Lorenza, who walked outside to see this. You just see a plane just dropping out of the sky. That plane with its parachute deployed slowly spiraled towards the ground with hundreds of homes and people below. My biggest concern was where he's going to land. Was he going to land somebody's roof? Was he going to land on power lines? Was he going to land in the middle of the street? Dion Pappas also saw the plane descending and ran over to help the two passengers trapped inside. I put the door off and uh, I couldn't get her. She was stuck in a seat belt. I smelled fuel. So I was like, oh my God, oh God. I said, I don't know if I should be doing this, right? And I'm thinking, oh my Lord, okay, okay, whatever. Another guy came behind me and we lifted up the side of the wing and got it up and then ripped the door open. Got, he came out. He says he used broken plexiglass to cut the seatbelt off of the female passenger. Through FAA records and flight aware, we learned this light sport plane took off from Tampa's executive airport just five minutes before crashing here. Records showed the plane is basically brand new. It was built last year and certified at the end of February. The FAA is investigating how it ended up here. They're so lucky because it was flying. It should have landed in Parsons down there. If they would have hit hard ground, they would have been dead. They're lucky they hit the tree. It softened the blow. And again, those two people, the pilot and the passenger, taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The FAA says it is working on its preliminary report. We do have investigators here on the scene right now taking a look at all of this damage. Reporting live in Brandon, Genevieve Curtis, Fox 13 News. Genevieve.